Check this out. Whenever I lock my screen on my Galaxy S24 Ultra, the outline of my wallpaper also transitions into the always on display. To do this, I just went into the GoodLock app, downloaded and opened the Wonderland module, selected create your different lock screen effect, tap on you, tap on the gallery icon, choose an image only for your lock screen though, and not for your always on display, hit close, tap on the second button, and choose the edge effect. Or you can choose any other screen effect that you like. Finally, you can tap on the download button, give it a random name, hit save, and set it as your wallpaper. Now you should have a unique transition that no one else has anytime you lock or unlock the phone. And that's just one of the ways I customize my Galaxy S24 Ultra running the latest One UI 6.1 update. Now I'll teach you even more hidden tricks for any Samsung device. Plus, if you're on the latest One UI 6.1 update, you'll get even more customization options that I'll be sure to show off in this video too. If you didn't know, the latest One UI 6.1 update brought a lot of the newer Galaxy AI features that we've seen in the S24 series over to a handful of previously released Galaxy phones. Things like circle to search, the collection of language translation features, automatic note and web page summaries, enhancement tools for images, and so much more. Plus, you can get quick access to a comprehensive list of all the new AI goodies by just heading into the settings, advanced features, and advanced intelligence. Along with these new AI features, there are also a handful of new customization options that Samsung introduced in this update that can take your Samsung to the next level. Starting with the lock screen, you can now long press it to open up an editor, and as usual, you can easily change the app shortcuts, clock style, and bottom text, but with the new One UI 6.1 update, you can now add widgets that display useful information for device battery levels, calendar events, alarms and reminders, Samsung health stats, and weather info. Plus, what's even cooler is that these widgets transition nicely to the always on display so that you can always see them. When setting a wallpaper, you can also add these neat frame effects and filters, and you'll get additional effects when the wallpaper has a subject like a pet or a person. This goes for both the lock screen and the home screen. Speaking of the home screen, here's how I customize mine. For the wallpaper, I usually transition around. Currently, I'm using some photography shots from a giant Google Photos album called Absolutely Wallpaper. They have hundreds of fantastic, beautiful looking backgrounds, and a lot of them even have open spaces to make way for my widgets, which is perfect. I also love using these new groovy walls we just released on our Patreon. They're inspired by the newest Android 15 update and they fit in really well with this giant screen. Samsung on its own lets you set multiple wallpapers on the lock screen so that each time you turn on the screen, you get presented with a new look. But to have these walls cycle periodically throughout the home screen, I use an app called Mosaic. Most of you have probably heard of it and it works really well. I just choose the walls I want to use, set a time period of how often I like the walls to cycle, and it'll update my home screen every so often so that I don't get bored of it. An alternative live wallpaper that I recommend as well is rain paper because it applies a layer of animated rain on top of whatever wall you select and you can customize it to appear any way you'd like. It makes for a nice calming look. Now as for my widgets, they all work around the KWGT app which I'm sure most of you have heard of as well. It's pretty much the best front end for all different kinds of widget packs on Android. The pack that I'm currently using on my S24 is Elements for KWGT. This pack is loaded with all kinds of different elegant and transparent widgets, like this modern take on the HTC Sense clock, and a bunch of clean and unique layouts providing lots of contextual information. Another great pack is Elega for KWGT, providing widgets that have pastel colors with square designs. I personally love this super sleek weather forecast. Or you can even achieve complete Nothing OS aesthetics with this pack called Nothing 2.0 for KWGT. I even made an entire video dedicated to doing just that, so check it out through the cards after watching this video. And with some of the later One UI versions, you can actually stack widgets on top of each other so that you can make the most of your home screen. I did this here with this widget containing a Google search bar from Elements for KWGT and this music widget from Elega. Plus, it's super easy to create. You just long press and drag a widget on top of another and it'll get stacked. Or you can long press on one and tap on create stack. It's a great way to keep multiple widgets on one home screen without making things look messy or bloated. 
For the Icon Pack, you can use pre-made sets found in Galaxy Themes, or within the Wallpaper and Style section, Color Palette, and then if you toggle on Apply Palette to App Icons, you can theme most of the icons on your home screen to match your wallpaper. But for even more options and flexibility, you can take advantage of the GoodLock application along with the Theme Park add-on, which actually lets you apply third-party icon packs found in the Play Store. I've demonstrated this before, but all you have to do is grab the GoodLock application from the Galaxy Store, open Theme Park, go to Icon, Create New, Icon Pack, select the pack that you want to use, hit the download icon in the upper right, name it, and then apply it. Boom, there you go. Now even though the Galaxy S24 is one of the most powerful smartphones you can use, it's still not invincible against every cyber attack or harmful application. So that's why I always download Bitdefender Premium Security, the sponsor of this video, to keep it protected against any viruses or malware attacks. It will give you hassle-free protection across all your phones, tablets, and laptops by scanning all your apps for viruses and having loads of anti-theft features like snapping a picture of someone who tries to unlock your phone or locking your sensitive apps behind a fingerprint. And it even shields you against any webcam intrusions, microphone monitoring, trackers, and any online threats. Plus, Bitdefender Premium Security even comes with a strong password manager to better secure all your accounts and supports an unlimited VPN to safeguard up to 10 of your devices so that you always stay private even when you join any public networks. So if you want the best protection for all your devices, you need to download Bitdefender Premium Security through the top link in the description. The next way you can really customize your Galaxy device is with the GoodLock app. It's home to a ton of different tweaks and customizations that really take One UI to the next level. And if you're unfamiliar with it, I'll walk you through a few of my favorite features to get you started. First up is the Home Up add-on. In here, there's a feature called Task Changer that lets you change how the Recents page looks and operates. You can choose from five different layouts. Um, I'm currently using the stack one for this setup, and you can add or take away different details like app labels, the search bar, recommended apps. You can enable this mini mode for easy one-hand operation, and there's a handful of gesture settings as well. Home Up also lets you adjust home screen, app drawer, and dock grid sizes beyond what's allowed by default, and you can hide app icon labels, which is what I did with my Galaxy S24. Another fantastic add-on is QuickStar, because it lets you change the grid size of the quick settings to show even more toggles per page, change the size of the swipe area for instant access to quick settings versus having to go through the notification shade first, and you can show and hide different indicator icons, as well as the date, AM, PM, and clock to seconds. Registar lets you show, hide, and rearrange menus in the system settings. You can enable double tap and triple tap back taps for shortcuts or apps. And this is also where you can change what a long press of the power button does. In my setup, I have it set to start the Google Assistant, but you can set it to any of these shortcuts here. A cool one being to share a screenshot or open any app, of course. For the camera assistant module, I can add extra zoom shortcuts to the Samsung camera app, including 2x and 100x, which for whatever reason, wasn't automatically enabled before on the S24. Plus, when I set a timer in the camera, I can have it take multiple photos instead of just one by modifying the timer multi-photo options. Sound Assistant also has a good number of tweaks. A few of my favorite standouts include the ability to change the look and feel of the volume panel. I personally love the Flex UI theme. It even has a neat dial type control that pairs with haptic feedback for every volume level increment. You can also control music playback using the volume keys, long press to skip or go back to a track, and multi-sound allows you to select applications that can play audio at the same time as others, which is useful for music players. If your phone comes with an S Pen, there's also this add-on called Pentastic that lets you change the air command menu. You can change the look of the pointer, the sound for when you take the S Pen in or out, and you can set an app to open or function to trigger when you hold down the pen button and double tap the display. One Hand Operation Plus is the ultimate add-on for adding gestures to your device. For one, it lets you completely revamp the navigation gestures, unlocking all kinds of possibilities like setting different functions for different types of swipes, 
I use it to trigger this quick setting launcher that lets me easily switch between all of my favorite apps whenever I swipe up diagonally. Or when I swipe down diagonally, I can bring up this quick tools menu to quickly toggle some OS settings. There's so much more inside of this though, so definitely be sure to go through it. Keys Cafe opens up a whole new world of customization for the Samsung keyboard, including you can change the look of it, how it sounds and responds to your input, and it's a great way to personalize your typing experience. For example, under Style Your Own Keyboard, I added different color effects to make my typing look even cooler. I also changed the touch sound to this retro one, making it sound like a mechanical keyboard. Check it out. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot, and I mean a lot more customization features found within GoodLock, so make sure to browse through the catalog and you'll be able to find some pretty interesting features that you never even thought of. Now, outside of the GoodLock app, I use these other tricks to enhance my One UI experience on my Galaxy S24 device. In the Samsung keyboard, I turn my keyboard completely black by tapping on the gear icon, theme, and choosing solid dark. That OLED theme with the stunning typing effects from the Keys Cafe add-on in GoodLock really takes this keyboard to the next level. When I'm on a phone call and want to remove any background noise around me, I can jump into the quick settings panel and change the mic mode to voice focus to allow the other person to hear my voice a lot more clearly. This feature only works on devices running One UI 6.1 though, so just keep that in mind. For the status bar, I made a lot more room to show even more notifications. I did this by just going to the settings, notifications, advanced settings, and I changed the top menu that says show notification icons from the three most recent to all notifications. And I made my S24 screen a lot more vivid by going into the settings, display, screen mode, advanced settings, and I increased the vividness lighter. Finally, if you upgrade to One UI 6.1, there are just a few more things that you can do that you should know. In the clock app, you can now choose a different alarm info layout. And in addition to that, you can now add backgrounds for your different alarms. You can choose from the presets of your own pictures and videos too. Plus, modes can now be added directly to the home screen using its new widget, making toggling them faster than before. There's a lot more where that came from too, so tap this video to learn about 30 other One UI hidden tricks that can take your One UI experience to the next level if I helped you improve your Samsung phone in any way, just drop a thumbs up to show your support. Thanks for sticking to the end and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!